It's about 7, I don't know, 7.15, 7.30, something like that. I decided to get an early start to the day. I was up around 5, and why not? So today, I am walking into the sunrise. Can't quite see it um, in the camera. I can see it with my eyeballs, but I'm thinking once I get down here, I'll come out to a little bit of a clearing and you'll be able to see it. And it's coming up right over there, yeah. Okay, so you can see a little bit. Sunrise. The sky looks orange in the camera, but in real life it's more pink and blue. up. It's so different in through here with the trees. Even the trail is different. I passed the shelter. It was 0.2 miles off trail and I don't need water yet. So I'm gonna go another two miles to the next water source. I've got a couple of climbs, so I may stop to de-layer. Here we go. You probably can't read it. So, um, yeah, I'm going north. <laughs> Not gonna get anywhere if I keep stopping to take pictures, <laughs> but, it's so cool through here. Super windy. Freezing. But beautiful. It's been one heck of a climb. The winds are brutal. I tried to find a place to get some protection so I could de-layer because I'm sweating but I didn't find anything, so I just battled the wind. I feel better now that I've taken a couple of times off. Still some climbing to do. I'm at the top. Top of what? I don't know. like today has been up, up, and more up. I need to eat, so hopefully there'll be a down soon. Yay, I'm going down. It's amazing how much warmer and quieter it is here. So I'll stop to do layer soon. I think there's a spring where I need to get water coming up hopefully elevation 5,040 feet
been trying to find a spot where the wind isn't so bad that maybe you could hear me. Today is my first difficult day. Um, I have made a homemade sling and have been kind of protecting my shoulder a bit, um, which means I'm climbing, I'm doing a lot of climbing today with one trekking pole and a slinged arm. So physically challenging and it's up and down. It's a ridge line, but it's up and down and up and down. And that's been hard too. Um, and the wind, it is so windy. I'm having a hard time regulating my body temperature. I'm either too hot or too cold. And I lost my hair tie and my possum gloves. They're starting to like, I don't know, what do you call it, dissolve? So uh, yeah, I'm struggling a bit. Um, I don't know how many miles I have done, but I know there's three more to this upcoming shelter and then another shelter just past that, a little over a mile, I think, or two. Um, my plan for today is 16. I was gonna push. I really hoped to push over Klingman's Dome so I get a view. Um, to, it's supposed to rain tonight, like at 4 a.m. Um, actually tomorrow morning. So probably won't see much, but fingers crossed um, that it'll be perfect. More, on a more positive note, I still have my fireball for today. This makes three. to the top of the bald. It's so weird walking through these things, whatever they are. It's been a hard but amazing walk along this ridge line. And I've been seeing this view, but haven't been able to get it in focus. It's about as good as I can do here. the shelter. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. I may end up trying to self camp behind it out of the wind. I'm sure there are lots of people there and I try not to film when there's people. I see through the woods. So I'm all set up. For camp. I pitched super low again. I'll close those doors on the left 
um, doors are closed on the right. I have anchored off to some tree roots and closed all the doors. Um, it's going to be potentially 65 mile an hour winds. Um, <laughs> that tree went down over there. That's good. I don't know if you can hear it, but the winds are over there. So I've tucked myself down here, hoping to stay away from the big wind gusts. Time for bed.